All I'm going to say is, you know, this was a very good movie, a very funny movie, and a very enjoyable movie. Okay? And none other than da -da -da -da, Napoleon Dynamite. Hell fucking yeah, dog. Hell fucking yeah. Okay? So yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and I'm going to review Napoleon Dynamite. Okay? So, you know, mainly, um, you know, it's about Napoleon Dynamite, of course, you know, your, your average uh, nerd who's, uh, you know, trying to, you know, do stuff every day, of course, you know. Uh, ma mainly, you know, his brother Kip is, uh, you know, kind of like, you know, a jerk a little bit, but not as much as Uncle Rico, man. I really hate Uncle Rico. Seriously, I mean, the guy is a complete ass. Seriously, you know? But, you know, on the way, you know, Napoleon meets Pedro, and, of course, uh, you know, this girl, whatever, a couple of girls, you know, one is his friend, you know, one he's trying to hook up with. And, of course, uh, you, you know, Uncle Rico is just trying to mess it up for him, too. You know, trying to make mess up his life as uh, Kip. You know, Kip, he's only trying to mess up Napoleon's life a little bit. And, you know, main, mainly because uh, the grandma goes on vacation somewhere to, like, a, a desert. God only knows. But, uh, you know, um, from there on out, you know, they're trying to learn uh, karate. They go to Rex Kwon Do, which is funny as shit. Rex Kwon Do. <laughs> um, you think you're going to learn anything from dressing up like Peter Pan or some shit like that? And of course, like, he's like this. You think I'm a failure? I'm glad to go home to Starla every night or some shit like that. <laughs> No, I know, but anyways, you know, I don't want to spoil the whole movie, but I, I maybe I kind of did, but, you know, um, the movie gets five out of five. You know, the vo the the acting was uh, phenomenal. You know, John Heater did a very good performance as Napoleon Dynamite. You know, I think this is his, this is his best performance, okay? Seriously, um... You know, the, the acting is a little bit top-notch, you know. Um, the scenes are funny, but maybe the first time you're not going to laugh from the movie, but maybe, like, the second or third time that you see the movie, you are going to really laugh, okay? Um, the dialogue and writing, very good, you know. Gosh! freaking sweet! Uh, Tina, this and this and that, whatever. You know, because mostly I forgot some of the lines. It's been so long since I've ever seen the movie, but... Um, you know, um, the cinematography... The cinematography looks uh, good, you know, the visuals look good. You know, everything looks good in the movie, okay? And it, and it sort of has, like, this, like, 80s look to it, if you know what I mean. Like, like I know the movie's supposed to take place in, like, you know, 2004, you know, but... Mainly, uh, uh, the movie has like a, like a '80s kind of kind of type of feel to it, you know. Like really, I'm not lying to you. Yeah. No, I know, but to me, this movie feels like a mixture between you know Beavis and Butthead and Wayne's World and you know things like that. So, uh, mainly, you know, I'm just gonna talk about the DVD now because I already reviewed the movie. Um, you know, on this one, you have audio commentary and, you know, uh, cast commentary on disc two. Uh, you have, let me count how many, how many, uh, bonus features you have, or these special features. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I guess you could count the two commentaries, so... You know, so far you have 11 um, special features on this uh, DVD, which is really nice, you know. And also, I like the, the packaging of the DVD. You know, I, I like, you know, Disc 1 or whatever that is, Disc 2. Or, you know, yeah. 
awesome. You know, very awesome. You know, I, I like the, the art for the DVD um, discs. Of course, you know, you get, you know, this, this book, of course, the little booklet. You know, Napoleon Dynamite. And, of course, I think it's, you know, talking about the movie, stuff like that. Of course, that you have a couple of pictures in there, you know. Fucking awesome, dude. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. Fucking awesome, you know. I, I just I just love it, man, seriously. And, you know, the thought of, you know, detail that they they really put into this, you know, like, like how a real book is. And, you know, like uh, photos like that. Like kind of like a like a diary, you know. And you know I'm not gonna lie, I'm you know kind of jealous on Kip because you know he he got the, this woman Lafonda. Yeah, I'm I'm a little bit pissed off at you, buddy. Seriously, like you lucky son of a bitch, you lucky bastard. Okay, and the hateable Uncle Rico. Which I don't hate the actor, but I, I hate Uncle Rico. He made me hate Uncle Rico. Seriously. You know, this chick, of course. And, and you know, my boy Rex. Rex. All right? Rex is the man. All right? <laughs> At Rex Quando. <laughs> I mean, if I had to choose my favorite characters, I think it would have to be Napoleon Dynamite and, of course, Rex himself. You know, I, I just I just like the, the whole idea of Rex Quando, okay? At Rex Quando! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just too funny. At Rex Quando! <laughs> No, I know, but anyways, you know, I, I like the, the 3D cover for, you know, the DVD itself, you know. And I like that uh, Napoleon Dynamite is an awesome dancer, too, you know. Look how badass that is. Look, look. Okay. No, I know, but um, mainly the movie makes me want tater tots, you know, makes me want to draw more, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, overall, you know, you need to check this movie out if you've been living under a rock, okay? Seriously, if you've been living under a rock, alright? Go pick up the movie now. I don't care how much it is. Go pick it up, alright? I'm out, people. Peace.